A local nonprofit has built apartments designed for adults with autism to help them into a transition into, I should say, a transition into a more independent life. Cronkite News reporter John Cardinelli was at the grand opening of this new home. People gathered, people counted down for the grand opening of First Place Phoenix. First Place is a new, innovative opportunity for people with autism and other different abilities to pursue housing options, to choose where they want to live. It is integrated into the fabric of our community. Denise Resnick, founder of First Place Phoenix, has been working on this project for 21 years. Her son Matt was diagnosed with autism. She wanted to create a program where residents with autism could be more independent. First Place includes 55 apartments, they're one, two, and four bedroom apartments with a capacity of 79 people. We're also including, of those 79, 10 doctoral or medical residents, and they live among the very population they want to serve. First Place is an 81,000 square foot building that costs $15.4 million to build, and a lot of thought went into the design. So we wanted it to be more than just a great room, more than just a great uh, um, space. We wanted to get people out of their rooms, out of their units, and interacting and creating friendships, creating bonds that are going to, you know, hopefully last a lifetime. The Lego Lounge, Community Kitchen, Pool, and Game Room are designed to encourage interaction. Stuart Kemp, who's a resident, says spaces like these have helped to make friends. When I first got here in first place, I had no friends. I didn't know how to make friends. I didn't know how to introduce myself, I didn't know how to shake hands, I didn't know how to do anything. But now I do. It is relationships that are beneficial to the process of being independent, as residents feel uplifted by one another's support during the process. A support that exists because Resnick followed her dream. It is humbling, it is exciting, it is nerve-wracking, it's, it's, it is a dream come true. In Phoenix, John Cardinelli, Cronkite News.